We shot Shifting Gears in North Carolina, the, the heart of dirt track racing. Couldn't imagine shooting this movie anywhere else. Um, we shot all over the Triad area of North Carolina, kind of the Piedmont region, all the way up to Elkin, um, Friendship Speedway. We actually sponsored a race event um, as part of the movie. It was an actual race. So, you know, there was crowd, the pits were full, there were all these things going on, and we were filming. There were basically two circuses in town um, at the same time, sharing the same space. Week should be good to go. So we had those segments of time at the races where we were doing stunt choreography and stunt moves while the crowd was there and to kind of help tie in the, some of the racing. And then our two hero cars were in the actual race that night as well to capture, you know, crowd and, you know, racing. intense stuff like this is the real deal and people eat drink and sleep this stuff you know and it started raining and it really actually made it more enjoyable because I like going through that it just once you get to the end result you're like man I went through a week at the dirt track covered in nothing but mud and I was really living this kind of lifestyle you know what I mean I've been kind of learning as I've been going on. I mean, I've watched like NASCAR stuff. I knew about that type of racing, but never about dirt track racing. So this was kind of a really interesting project to come by because I was like, I want to learn about this. And I had no idea what a big sport it was. You know, we're filming right in the heart of it all. So I was really excited to kind of come down here and see what it was all about and learn something new. Didn't really get the feel of it until we were out there. When we out there and you seen these guys because of dirt tracks where they slide instead of like taking the turns. Williamson getting pressure from Bo Lucas, but now it's his turn to slam the door. It was an amazing thing, man. Just the energy of it was totally different. We had all the people come out to the actual track and the energy, people screaming, you know, it was an amazing thing. I had to choose one kind of racing, be dirt track racing. There's a sort of uh, uh, folksiness about dirt track racing that, you know, you don't have to be a millionaire. There's it's just a sort of a, uh, hey, I'm gonna get my car dirty atmosphere about it that I really like, and the audience is gonna, the audience, the crowd is gonna get dirty, gonna get dusty, and, you know. Well, you know, my, I come from a stunt background. So, you know, my father used to race sprint cars and, and you know, I grew up on sets like Dukes of Hazard and welding roll cages and, you know, five point belts and all kinds of, you know, different things. My dad started me out young and, and we had an old 69 Dodge Ram Charger and we built a cage in it and we used to roll it and you know, the neighbors thought my dad was crazy and they were probably right. But uh, I, I kind of, Grew up with dirt behind my ear and you know goggles on, so I like the sport of racing. And, and you know, I come from a rodeo background, so competition is competition, and dirt is dirt. So it's it's pretty much uh, the first one there and the last one to complain wins, and it's the same in, in all sports, you know. That just being in North Carolina, you can't help but being surrounded by racing and, and what it means to this community and how it is that red dirt and that 
it, it just lives in this area, you know, from the bootleggers on to NASCAR. And I think that um, you can't make a race car movie anywhere but North Carolina, truthfully. And I, I think that it's a great plot device, so to speak, because it's metaphorical for working hard to keep something together, to keep fighting another day. You know, and I think that that's what these guys do every weekend. And every weekend it falls apart and every, you know, and all the during the week they put it back together and they go out for one more shot. And I think it's a great metaphor for life because I think that's what we all do.